Hi, this is Stephanie from ST Microelectronics. This video is addressed to people new to ST Microelectronics and to our STM32 microcontroller family. In this video, I will present to you one of our tools, the STM32 Cube Monitor. The STM32 Cube Monitor family is a set of tools curated to help developers fine tune and diagnose STM32 applications at runtime. This is done through reading and visualizing application variables in real time. Today, there are four tools that reside in this family STM32 Q Monitor, STM32 Q Monitor Power, STM32 Q Monitor RF, and last but not least, STM32 Q Monitor UCPD. If you are interested in the specialized versions of Q Monitor and learning more about them, please visit st.com in our ST YouTube channel. On our YouTube channel, we have curated individual videos discussing each of these specialized tools in greater detail. In today's presentation, we will solely be focusing on discussing the STM32 Q Monitor. In a nutshell, the STM32 Q Monitor tool provides users with a simple way to build custom dashboards in order to help fine tune and diagnose STM32 applications at runtime conveniently supporting connectivity to any STM32 device through the ST-Link. Some key features of the STM32 Q monitor include reading and writing variables on the fly from and to RAM in real time while the target application is running, support of two modes, direct acquisition or snapshot, enables the logging of data into a file and replay for exhaustive analysis, multi-probe support to monitor multiple targets simultaneously, and remote monitoring with native support or multi-format displays such as PCs, tablets, and mobile phones. Like many of our other tools, the STM32 Q Monitor is compatible over a range of OS platforms, including Windows, Linux, Ubuntu, and Mac OS. So where can you find STM32 Q Monitor? Great question! To find out more information regarding this tool, simply visit st.com and enter STM32 Q Monitor in the Sites search bar. To download and install this tool, click on the Get Software icon on the landing page. You will then be led to a section displaying the various OS compatible STM32 Q Monitor versions. Be sure to select the version that is compatible with the operating system running on your host machine. Please note that unless you explicitly select a previous version from the Select Version drop-down icon, you will be downloading and installing the latest version. Now that you are familiar with the basics of this tool, I invite you to install and use it in parallel when debugging your application. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye!